Well, first, thank you, Mark, for receiving me today. Uh, it's always a pleasure to, uh, to answer to all your questions. Uh, yeah, definitely, I'm so excited to talk about the journey of women uh, within the IT industry. Uh, it's not an easy journey, right? I mean, I think that you uh, can uh, notice that how many women you interviewed during this JITEX, right? Very few comparing to, uh, to, to, to men. Yeah, my, my journey was like, I would say, uh, a fighter, uh, never easy. Uh, but I had also, I've been lucky to be with multinational environments. Uh, many companies, they start encouraging uh, the integration of uh, women within the IT industry. Yeah, that didn't exist at the time. Yeah. In, in, in my time, back to 2007, 2008, very little. When I choose to be with companies like Honeywell or like Johnson Control, it's yeah. very closed industry to mainly male. And it was having a woman in the leadership, it is something like almost not normal. <laughs> yeah, but that, that is yes, exactly. Awesome exactly. So it, it was a good journey because I was with, uh, I would say, first woman in the leadership yes. and always a business case to share, best prospects to share to prove that yes, women can be in leadership in this kind of uh, companies. I would say less uh, difficult within IT environments uh, rather than industrial environments. So yes. industrial is, is, is really close to male. And industrial yes. is closed off, but IT is more accessible. Yes, still, still the, the percentage of women is very low. We are talking about 5%. It's, it's almost nothing. Yes. But we cannot deny the improvements. Yeah, there has been improvements. Exactly. Yeah. I would say in, uh, that uh, this is coming from education. You know, I had the chance to, to teach in American universities in Morocco and to see actually uh, from the field of education, not a lot of uh, women are applying to be in IT environment because they keep thinking that this is only for male. And they will be in an environment not, not really encouraging women yes. and they they keep thinking that even companies they will not hire them because they are women well, so, so they, they don't want to invest yeah. in the career that they will not have actually uh, a good uh, I would say uh, good yes or being yeah. promoted or so this kind of conception from education field is impacting later on the generation to be uh, in the in the field of IT in the leadership positions. Yeah, but those, those fears that you're talking about that people would have, they're understandable because they do exist. Correct. You know, because it's not just a case that if you do... Unfortunately. You know what I mean? Unfortunately, yeah. it's still there. Uh, many uh, companies, I would say, they started encouraging a woman to be in a leadership position or uh, to be uh, actually having access to be a programmer and starting their career. Uh, many also multinationals started uh, also to encourage diversity. Diversity is good. Diversity. Exactly. And, and the only thing is they were having this uh, thought that women are not risk taken and <laughs> they are, well, in some positions level, yes, women can, can be less risk taken because they want to protect the business and not taking high risk. So they, is that the argument from like people in capitalism? Correct. Women are not risk yeah, so they say, okay, maybe this job is more for male that they will take the right, which is wrong. It's all totally about wrong. perception. It's all about uh, uh, how the brain is actually uh, made based on the past, on, uh, on the histories, on ancestors or anyone. But if you go back to the past, many women's leaded countries, you know. I had many uh, occasions when I talked to my previous managers when they said, you don't need to do all this, Lugna, right? You don't, it's okay, everything is fine because I've been in a position where I have to work harder to show that I can do more. Yes. When they asked me to do one level, I have to do this. <laughs> yeah. So just to show that I can do more, yeah. So it is, by the end, a little bit exhausting. Uh, 
but at the same time, uh, I would encourage uh, women to not be afraid. Yeah. They, I personally, I took it uh, as an uh, opportunity. Uh, whatever it is like uh, low lights from companies, it's for me an opportunity to show that I can do it. And, uh, and I was like, every time giving myself the, the chance to uh, ask myself, am I doing it good enough? Your, your question? Your yes, yeah. exactly. And that's what keep me improve and never being in comfort zone. Yeah, you, ne you never allow yourself to be comfortable. Exactly. Versus my peers, male peers, basically. Okay, it's going to be fine. They, they, you don't see a lot of questioning about themselves. So when you don't question yourself, you're not going to improve, right? Uh, and that's basically uh, has been built in the first stage by being a woman. I think if I was man, I would not ask many questions right. myself exactly. because I am surrounded with the environment telling me you are doing good. Exactly. Just because I am male, yeah. right? Yeah. And exactly. when when you are in a woman position, you are surrounded by everyone doubting if you're gonna succeed. You've always got to prove yourself. So you are always searching for the best, and which is good. So this is the positive side of so being. <laughs>
working on those three pillars, that's what can improve diversity and including, and including women in all kinds of levels of work.